so guys I bought another 2ZZ <laughs> you guys can see right here Toyota Matrix 2006 so it's a 2ZZ with uh, air injection we can see uh, yeah looks like it has air injection so um, this is a 2ZZ from out east so it does look kind of crusty you can kind of see right here in the front very very crusty it's a good thing that I do see an OEM filter so I'm gonna end up putting this with the Corolla XRS and yeah we're gonna need a lot of cleaning let me go ahead and take off this um, wrap actually you know what I'm gonna take this to the backyard because it's out here in the front of my front of my house so <laughs> I'm gonna go take it to the backyard but I got to take it off the pallet. Kind of done with the gave me a whole pallet. Now I got to get rid of it. <laughs> so I just started taking the bolts out of the, the valve cover. And this is my first time taking it off. I haven't seen this. I haven't touched anything or like moved around anything. This is my first time seeing it on camera. Okay, okay, I'm actually quite happy. Yeah, I'm very happy, guys. Extremely happy. LKQ, you guys, you guys did a good job here. There is no gunk built up. I don't see any. Like, this is too clean. I love this, actually. So I do have plans. I think I'm gonna go with some MWR cams. Um, I do wanna make this the, the supercharger build for the Corolla XRS. So we're gonna go that route. But obviously this isn't gonna be like an overnight thing. I'm gonna put this on the engine stand and I'm gonna make this squeaky clean. Everything, this is gonna look like show car ready because that's what the goal for the Corolla XRS is. Um, I just want I just want to finally use the Grady Supercharger, guys. Like, I've been waiting for the longest time, and I'm actually quite happy that this is really clean. Like, yo, like, oh, my God. They're really clean. Uh, most likely the lift bolts aren't going to be broken because this is an updated 2ZZ or I guess a facelift 2ZZ as we want to call it. It's an air injection model so um, that's a good thing because I can go back and every two years get it smogged properly. I could just use the block off plate or I can make the threads on the back of the holes so that I could just use a different type of Oh, actually, no, scratch that. I could probably just end up using the the, the block-off plates for the PPE header. I could just use that. And then when it comes time to smog the vehicle, I'll just throw on my stock um, exhaust manifold back on. But this is going to this is gonna be a great, a great um, power plant or a great starting point, I should say. Like, like yo, this, this guy took care of his 2ZZ. Look at this. This thing is minty, minty. I'm gonna need to take care of this one. This only has, I believe, 120,000 miles. So we're not gonna go ahead and reuse that gasket. Um, should, actually, I should probably just put it back on. That way there's no moisture going in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the gasket back on. I'm 
So we got the 2ZZ on the Harbor Freight engine stand. We ended up using the Harbor Freight engine crane. So pretty simple stuff. And it's already been a while since the last video you guys just saw right now. It's been a couple months already, but I basically had the engines, the 2ZZ sitting on the engine pallet because I had to put the B20 on the engine step because I had to rotate it so that I can do the, the oil pan and I wanted to do the timing belt service on the engine set. I didn't want to do it on the floor. So now that that's done, we're going to focus on the 2ZZ right here. Um, it's just pretty dirty. It's pretty oxidized, but obviously you guys saw underneath it. Very, very clean. Um, but I'm going to take my time cleaning this, prepping this, making this look nice because... I want it to look nice inside the Corolla. And if you guys are wondering, these, I made them out of acrylic sheet that I had left over from a project I had. But I believe BOE sells them um, if you want to pay money for them. But if you have a piece of Plexi laying around, you know, you got them right there. It's basically just cut it out to shape. I didn't want um, the elements to go inside the engine bay or the engine itself because... I know the engine was going to sit for a while, so I made those, and if you guys are wondering about these um, engine hooks, so I believe this one is the one off the 1ZZ, so if you guys don't know, I think I got another one somewhere over here. No, I don't. Okay, well, shout-outs to my mom for the tole. Mm, good stuff. But anyways, um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So this engine hook, I believe 98 to 2002 Toyota Corolla 1ZZ, it has it on the back of the engine. Every single Corolla 1ZZ that has will have this hook. So you can take two of these and boom, there you go. Get it from the junkyard. And then this one is a little bit different. I believe I got this one from the 1MZ. And it actually works perfect because look at that. It kind of loops from the from the tube right here. It loops around it. So it actually works out pretty good. <laughs> so if you guys do need those, this is the 1MZ one. Early 1MZ, like 97 to 2001 Camry. And then this is a 98 to 2002 Toyota Corolla. So other than that. Oh, if you guys are interested, the bolts, the hardware, um, I got that from Home Depot. Um, the thing is, you don't want to get it exactly the size of the hole because um, I don't think the engine stand is compatible with this engine specifically with the holes that are already pre-opened. So I got some bolts a little bit smaller than the hole itself so that they could fit in. And I've had... I've had no issues with these bolts before. I've had engines sitting on the engine stand for a lot longer and they didn't collapse. Knock on wood. <laughs> That's not wood. Wood. There you go. But I think this is going to be it for this video. I kind of just wanted to give you guys a little introductory to the process of me um, bringing back the Corolla XRS to its former glory. Even though it still is kind of, but... Um, high mileage 2ZZ, I kind of want to do something with that one before it throws a rod. Um, it is burning a little bit of oil. I do have to top off the oil um, between every oil change interval, but it's nothing too crazy. But I do want to put in this lower mileage 2ZZ so that we can, of course, throw on the Grady Supercharger. Clayton, you need to hurry up. And update video i do have an update video for you guys with the 1zz trd supercharger so stay tuned for that but yeah other than that guys thank you guys for watching